All right. All praise, honor, and glory be to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Waha, Kodash, Waha. Double honor to the apostles and elders. A great millstone of Yahshua Allah who rule well. All right. Peace and blessings to you brothers out there teaching this truth and sincerity. All right. And the true names, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right. And the sincerity, man. But, um,. This is only out to so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, because you're the children of Israel. Now, getting straight to it, this is a, a lesson that's going to be titled um, The Technology of the Vehicles of Yahweh. The Technology of the Vehicles of Yahweh, who's the Most High, right? So, the Technology of the Vehicles of Yahweh, man. All right, so as you can see, I have left to my to the left of the screen the scripture scripture lined up, and to the right, you know what D Esau deems to be unidentifiable, you know, because he can't understand it. He doesn't have the true understand. He doesn't have an understanding for the technology that he's witnessing out here. When he thought he was the, you know, as you if you will, the ninth wonder of the world or something like that, but. Pretty much, man. Um, this is this is this is uh something he can't fathom because pretty much the technology, which is which is you know accurate, you know uh, fitting, you know it's 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 it's, uh, uh, it's applicable for uh, the vehicles of, of Yahweh, which is uh, in the Bible. You know, that's actually what the title is. You know, the vehicles. Uh, the technology of the vehicles of Yahweh in the Bible, right? That's what the title actually is. And Esau, he can't, he just can't fathom it. Now, without me going on and on, I'm just go ahead and get this word real quick. I'm going to get this scripture, 1 Timothy uh, 6 and 20, because technology is, is, is seen in these vehicles based off the definition and it's truly a science that, you know, people can't, a lot of brothers tend to move away from what's mentioned. But let me read this real quick. It say, O Timothy, 1 Timothy 6 and 20, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babbling, vain, and vain babblings. So it's being specific, it's specifying what to avoid. Right and oppositions of science falsely so called, so you are to avoid profane and vain babblings. Not everything, just profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so called. So anybody with some understanding, you know, that's not telling you to avoid science, and it's telling you that the Lord actually uh, 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 deals with science. You get that word oppositions is anti. Thesis, right? Strong's G four seventy seven, antithesis, antithesis, antith antithesis, antithesis. All right, and when you go into the word, what it means, it says that which is opposed, opposition, right? That which is uh, that which is opposed, conflict, right? Of theories. So it's not true knowledge. See, you creep, creep scrolling down. It says the invention of fault, the inventions of false knowledge. Right. So Esau can't make a proper vehicle because his inventions are come. They're, they're from a falsified knowledge. Right. That's not. That's that's. It's limited. It's such on a low level. Really, the Lord, like, that's that's low science because technically when you go into the word science, not in the word uh, science, but when you go into the word technology, listen to this. It says technology, the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes, especially, so it's the application of scientific knowledge. Now we just got to get what science means for practical purposes, right? So you can actually use it, right? It's actually worth some you know how some knowledge you have you is is not good for anything, you know, so is it or, or it comes up short. 
that's what these ve these cars are like in unto. But Yahweh, he has a perfect, he has the true science. He has the true scientific knowledge, man. Right? To where when he made his vehicles, they didn't come up short and they're nothing far uh uh they're 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 beyond me, man. It says for practical purposes, especially in industry, right? So it says you see that advances advances in computer technology. It says machinery and equipment developed from the application of scientific knowledge. So you're able to bring forth different machinery and equipment by applying scientific knowledge, right? Now, when you go into that word science, because I'm going to keep this short, Laura Willen. Um... It says, because this is in fact science, the, what the Lord is, is is in its true form. That's why I say right here, avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so-called. So the Lord, like, that ain't science. That's some little stuff down there. You know what I'm saying? The, the intellectual uh, that these people be talking about, you know, especially these heathens. But the, the intellectual and practical activity... Uh, even us, but that's what this lesson is for. It says the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic structure, study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experience. So you basically come up with what the knowledge of something is based off of observing it, uh, observing and experimenting uh, what it is. With what whatever with on with on with on or uh with or on whatever it may be, right? So you're able to just say, okay, this is this or this work like that, you know, and that's how we get so called science, man. But who actually was responsible for how what uh uh what was to what's to be said about what something is for or how it actually works? Or how you can actually apply it and what you can actually use it for. The Father, Yahweh, who people call God, the Heavenly Father, man, the Creator. All right, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. All right, so it says, a practical area of science, a systematically organized body of knowledge or on a particular subject. See? So if you want to fly around and maneuver, right, it's a true knowledge, it's a true science to that. We just have, we don't have that yet. Esau has a, a, a light knowledge of it. So that's why, uh, basically, car vehicles is like, it's, it's a false science. You know, these cars down here that you got to go get emissions test for, it's a false science. Because it say right here, in Isaiah, just to prove a point real quick, that Esau does this, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. Isaiah 14 and 1. 14, Salakia. Let's get to the point. It say uh, 12. How thou art fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground, which thou, which did weakest the nation. So who is this talking about? Because when you jump to the first verse, it's talking about, for the Lord will have, it says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. But when you get down here, it's talking about Lucifer falling from heaven. So that's not talking about Jacob or Israel. It got to be talking about whoever was just up before that uh, was to go on and happen. Jacob be chose once again and take all the strangers that's not Israelites, that are not of Jacob. Right, the Israelites will be chosen once again to take all the strangers that are not Israelites. So this will have to, have to be the people who were up before that uh, were to happen, which would be who? Because we know the Israelites still alive today. You watching this video today, this lesson today, or whenever you may be watching it. Right, you're watching it right now. But who's up right now? Esau, so-called white man. Who's Esau? So how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? Which did was this weaken the nations with his false his science falsely called for thou hast said in thy heart which is my point of getting this uh which is his mind i will ascend into heaven i will exalt my throne above the stars of god 
I will also I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the south of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. See that? <laughs> Yet thou shalt be brought down to the to hell, to the sides of the pit. And we know that's you know a break it's break it's a breakdown on this, but just reading this straight is telling you that this guy's not he think he is is the people that think they're on the level they they just they want to be just like the most high so this is how you get the scripture uh um uh, the passage written in the letter uh to Timothy about avoiding vain babblings and and, and, and oppositions uh opposing uh theories or statements or so-called professed knowledge towards uh science so called so-called science, you know, because these people don't know what's going on. Now, watch this. We're going to prove it. It tell you right here. It's a, uh, man, it's something I had went to. Basically, it asks you who is the father of science, which I could just Google it real quick. But let me get this real quick. There it is. Who is the father of science? See that? Obviously the most high. You know? That's that's spiritual right there. That's crazy. You know, so that matches a hundred percent up. They created what what was to be deemed as how things work and what they're actually to be used for. They're the father of that. So called white man is the father of that. So the Lord deals with science, man. Now, with that being said, Let's go ahead and get into it, man. Bring this out. Isaiah 19, and we start at 1. So, when you look at this, the, the technology of the Lord is, is, is on a whole nother level, man. Because he truly deals with technology, man. Right? Technology is just the application of true knowledge on how things work and what they can be used for. You know? So, here it is. You have light. Here you is. Here you is. You have this thing called uh, gravity, and uh, uh, you just got. I can I'm not gonna go into it, you know, so in depth like that, and movement and uh, stuff like that. But I ain't gonna go into it like that. We are gonna get what the scriptures give us, you know. So people can't figure out for the life of them what's going on. How, how what's, you know, because the technology of the vehicles of Yahweh, you know, what I'm saying is 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 is. It's sealed to these people, but it's in the Bible, you know, which is going to match up to exactly what these so-called UFO sightings are, right? These objects of power that we're seeing, and they operate on a whole, a whole nother type of scale, man, you know, a whole nother type of scale, man. These are vehicles, man, right? And we're going to prove it. It's in the Bible. All right? So let me get this. It say the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord, or behold, Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud. And shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Why? Because they seeing things like this. The power. You know, Jake talk about how he's going to pull up. Air it out, shut it down. You know what I'm saying? They got the showstopper. That's how the Lord is, man. That's 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 how, what the Lord. That's the level. That's that's so called. You know, the Lord actually does is going to do that because tell you right here the burden of the, the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. He rideth upon a swift cloud. Now, when you look up in that word swift, it's called qual, right? And we know swift just means to just mean fast, man. But we're gonna get in, we're gonna go into that word right at first, which is rakab. Now listen to this. Strong's H seventy three ninety two. Rachav, Rachav. So swift. Let's see if the Lord he's given his he's put his he spoke about this technology in the Bible. Let's just see real quick. Give you full control over who can access your laser. Well, wow. each crypto. 
Laser's brightness is warning, potentially hazardous to pilots. Laser's yeah. brightness is warning, potentially hazardous to pilots. So it went two different directions. So it came from the right, right there, and then another one came. Your laser. Wow. Yeah, Swift. What did it say? Let this play out real quick. Real technology. You tell me it's not in the Bible. The, the technology of the vehicles of Yahweh in the Bible. So, it say, Isaiah 19 and 1, it say, the burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. Now, we're going to be real simple real quick. The reason why they call clouds, why? Because, for one, they're in the air. Right? The objects that was in the air. And it tells us that um, we have more. Salakia. This one. Desire. Salakia. Let's say, uh, see this. It say, for I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. You know, um, it's another one too I want to get. And it's one in, um, you know, that's how you know we here, man. Let's see. No. I'm going to, if I can't get it, uh, get this, I'm going to just leave it, leave it alone. But brothers, here we go. That's uh, Psalms 119 and 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. So we end up surpassing um our ancient men ancient ancestors you know just because father showed us more thing the holy spirit came you know what i'm saying and stuff like that and it's another one in the uh in the epistles that it says uh seek 
records. You know. So I'm telling you, like once the once this 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 is done, you know, this is this is this is eye opening. Um That's one. That's not one. I don't know. I can't find that one right now. If I get it, it, it I go back to it. But anyway, so as you see, man, so it's say, so that's why they was writing things as, as simply like that as clouds. Because for one, they was just pre pretty much just denoting that, it, that these things were in the air. And then he said it's swift. What did you just see? You know? In fact, I got another one on her. All right, so I'm gonna let this play. Those are clouds. Now watch how fast they move. They're in the air, which is why they were clouds, but they will never live in clouds. Watch this. No technology, so-called white man, moves this fast. They can move fast and get to the world right now. Watch this. Let me pause it real quick. So let's go ahead and go to it so I won't be so long on this. This is uh the word for swift. Let's get that real quick. Qual. Strong's H at 7031. Cal. Cal. Qual. Swift. Light. Right? Fleet. One who is swift. Swiftly. What does it say? Rapid. See that? Quickly. A swift horse, right? Say light, swift. So it makes sense why they're light. Because those are like the fastest moving things. So you got Mach 5, which I think is like five times the, uh, the, 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 uh, the speed of sound, right? But they can't get anything to go to speed of light, right? Uh, a swift horse. So that's power, because a horse represents power. That's why engines, you got V12 engines that has, you know, uh, I think it's at 12, uh, basically 12 horses, you know, horsepower, something like that. Uh, brothers, correct me if I ain't right, but, um, you know, we know we have, they have engines, Esau have engines in his technology that denotes uh, that have to be as powerful as actual horses, because horses represents power. Right, so they're not only powerful, but they're swift. They're quick, you know. Is this not right in the Bible? It's a cloud, man. They say the Lord rides upon a swift cloud. He rides upon a wild cloud, which means rapid. Now, real quick. Let's get that word for rapid, cause we getting it. We get he he left some 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 information on his technology in his scriptures, man. Happening in a short time, or at a fast pace. See that? Happening with great speed or in a brief period of time. Think of rapid eye movement, right? So it's just it's quick. Your eyes blinking like, and that's literally the the, the erratic movements of the of these so-called UFOs. But these are very things is identified and talked about in the scriptures. These things that are in the air, which is why they're uh, is written as a cloud because they were it were there were things in the air, you know. And to them, they looked like clouds back then. You know, because only thing in the air usually. It wasn't a thing about it. There weren't no such thing as airplanes then. Helicopters. Jets. Uh, 
dog fighters, drones. There was no such thing as these things then, man. Satellites. There was no such thing. So only per people operating in the air was the angels, Yahweh, in the clouds, Yahweh. So when they start seeing things other than clouds, they just put clouds because that's what were in the air, clouds. But not, but clouds don't move quick. They don't move swift. You can't ride upon the cloud. Now, let's go even deeper. When you go into the word, ride, ride it. Right? Now listen to this. Is he literally saying he ride upon a, a cloud? He riding up. He ride. He's is is he? Because we know uh, a swift cloud at that, and we know now that that word swift is quiet, which means quickly, which means light, which means uh, 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 like a horse, pretty much, which means rapid, and rapid goes into at a happening in a, in a short time, right? Or a fast pace. A fast pace. Is that not what you see these things do? See that? It was just right there. And it went back to the right. I'm just going to quick. Rapid. In the air as a cloud. Now when you look up that word, uh, uh, ride it, the Lord ride it, it's rakab. Now let's see what it means. It says to mount and ride to mount and ride so like you to mount mount and sit or ride to be be riding rider so he look it's a car it's a vehicle to cause the rise now let's get even let's go even deeper right horseback don't you ride a horse what does it say rakab to ride on an animal or in a vehicle now you explain this to me. The technology of the Lord, the technology of the vehicles of the Lord is in the, in the scriptures. That's what these things are. These very things is talked about in scripture. Clouds being rolled upon. You look at what, what, ride, ride it in Hebrew is macabre, and it means in a vehicle, man, to ride. In a vehicle. Ride in a chariot. You can't make this up. To be carried. To ride. Right? In a chariot. Or to be carried in a chariot. Listen to this. It says, especially, they put Jehovah, but it's Yahweh. Especially of Yahweh, who is carried upon the clouds. So these are vehicles of, of power, majesty, royalty, glory, and, and, and outright, man, rulership. This is beyond riches. To cause to ride upon the wing, the wing, the wings of the wind, you know, to place on a chariot or vehicle, and they know this, man. To fasten an animal to a, visit, a vehicle, man. See that? It's a vehicle. So who? If it, uh, let's get that word vehicle. Let's get that. You know. And I'm gonna close this out after this. You know, because this one scripture, the chariots all throughout the vehicles. You know, but this is interesting. It's a vehicle, a thing used for transporting people <laughs> or good. So it's people in these things, man. It's, and who do you think in them? Who in them? Right in the Bible. Right in the Bible, man. It's a Isaiah, Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots, a.k.a. vehicles of God, are uh, 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. That's who in them, man. The Lord, man. Yahweh Shah coming back in those things, man. 
It tell us right here. Acts 1. Proving that. Just to back that up real quick. You know. It says. Uh, Acts 1 and 6. When they were come together. They asked of him saying. Lord. Would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the power of the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive the which ye shall receive power after the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Right? And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Ju uh and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. A cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them. As he went up, behold, two men stood by, uh, stood by them in white apparel. It says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahawashah, which is taken up from you into heaven, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner, as ye have seen him go into heaven. So he coming back, he left, he was, this is what you call an abduction, man. Esau got people to believing in uh, uh, abductions by aliens, but aliens just mean foreigner, man. This just means stranger. The word alien in the Bible. So he left on the ship, man, and he ain't been back since. But he's written to come back. It's just we don't, we don't have a date on that. But once again, these vehicles, a vehicle is, 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 is it says it, it, it means... A thing used for transporting people. And they're swift. Which is rapid. And they're in the air. Which is why they're clouds. And they're rolled upon. They're, they're ridden. Which means in a vehicle, man. Rakab. It's like you. You know? So that's pretty much it, man. It's all in the scriptures, the technology of the Lord. So his 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 vehicles are, 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 are in the air. And they they move at rapid speeds. And they transport people, man. They're vehicles, man. Of true knowledge. True science, man. Consistent of things. That were made for these very purposes. So Esau, he he hasn't found out. He can't find uh, uh, track down what you you Yah how was using for his vehicles, because this is how a vehicle actually supposed to work if you're going to transport people. So we're on a light level down here. Jake won't race and Roy, uh, Rolls Royces and Bugattis and all this other crap. But Bugatti, you got the fastest Bugatti, uh, uh, which goes. Let me get that real quick. Fastest car is a Bugatti, man. And they say it go, uh, with a Bugatti 261. I thought it was a, uh, a Bugatti. But pretty much you got his, Esau's fastest car going three, 301 miles from what I have right here. You know? That's, that's 2018, let's get 2020. So it is. The Bugatti may be five years old as of 2020, but it's still among the fastest supercars ever built. Bugatti Veyron Super, Super Sports, 268 miles per hour. Man, that is not rapid, man. So we ain't on no level, man. And then these things are so, they're on such a level, they don't crash. You don't have to put insurance on them. You know what I'm saying? So the technology of the Lord is 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 out of here, man. It's out of the park. So the Lord ride it with cop upon a swift uh qual, which is rapid. The rapid goes and it's happening in a certain amount of time. 
a, a, a fast pace, man. And cloud. And the reason why it's cloud because there are uh, vehicles in the air, man. Right? That's the only reason why it's cloud, man. I see. That's the only reason. An envelope. And don't things go inside an envelope? You know? An architectural term. You know? Because Esau know clouds don't fly. You know? Let me get that word architectural. I'm going to close this out. Architectural. Architectural. Lord willing, this has been edifying, man. You know? Just, just, just want to see what, what, it, what, 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 uh, what it means. You know? So it says, uh, let's see, what we got here relating to the art of practice, of designing and constructing buildings. See that? So that's not a cloud. Cloud don't rep, don't mean it's not it's not a cloud is 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 architecture it's architecture but in a different form so that just show you right there clouds also denote actual buildings right right something that's been built but it's in such a way that it's light man it's it's it's, it's out there so the technology of the Lord the technology of your of the vehicles of Yahweh in the Bible, man. You know? They wrap it. You know? Esau can't figure them out. You know? Different colors. Jake like different paints and stuff like that. You know, and they quarrel, man. Look at that. Ain't that in the scriptures? Rapid. All over the place. So, Lord willing, this has been edifying, man. Let me give all honor, praise, and glory to you. How about you? How shy? Well, how could that's for All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who will well, Yasha Allah. Peace and bless to you, brother, for teaching this truth, man. Sincerity. Ladies and faith, man. Morning. Has you know, rest of you waking up out there, y'all. I was shouting around while Brock and you as well. So, with that. You know, I'm going to say Shalawan.